Hello, my name is Ivy, and this is edition 45 of the Weekly Bugger, and I am quite proud to announce that we won a prize. Well actually, it was over a year ago, but we completely forgot about that. It was a contest of who could find the most ridiculous conspiracy on the internet. We could not find anything, so we decided to do what we do best, make up one of our own. As many people want us to believe, is that the world is flat. But if so, what is on the other side? We took that idea, and turned it into the following video. Jules Gabriel Verne was a French novelist, poet and playwright. His collaboration with the publisher Pierre Jules Hetzel led to the creation of The Voyages Extraordinaires, a series of best-selling adventure novels including 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Around the World in 80 Days, and this one what is all about, Journey to the Center of the Earth. The underworld is the supernatural world of the dead in various religious traditions and myths, located below the world of the living. 1. Thonic is the technical adjective for things of the underworld. The concept of an underworld is found in almost every civilization, and may be as old as humanity itself. Common features of underworld myths are accounts of living people making journeys to the underworld, often for some heroic purpose. Other myths reinforce traditions that entrance of souls to the underworld requires a proper observation of ceremony, such as the ancient Greek story of the recently dead Patroclus haunting Achilles until his body could be properly buried for this purpose. Persons having social status were dressed and equipped in order to better navigate the underworld. A number of mythologies incorporate the concept of the soul of the deceased making its own journey to the underworld with the dead needing to be taken across a defining obstacle such as a lake or a river to reach this destination. 5. Imagery of such journeys can be found in both ancient and modern art. The hollow earth is a concept proposing that the planet Earth is entirely hollow or contains a substantial interior space. Notably suggested by Edmund Halley in the late 17th century, the notion was disproved, first tentatively by Pierre Bauber in 1740, then definitively by Charles Hutton in his G. Hallian experiment around 1774. It was still occasionally defended through the mid-19th century, notably by John Cleve Sims J.R. and Jeremiah N. Reynolds, but by this time it was part of popular pseudoscience and no longer a scientifically viable hypothesis. The concept of a hollow earth still recurs in folklore and as a premise for subterranean fiction, a subgenre of adventure fiction. In the 30s of the 20th century, hobby geologist a flat earth promoter, Jeremy Braxton Greer from New Zealand claimed to have found a cave that leads to what up till then was considered to be the hollow earth, and he is the first one to state that, that this might be the underside of the flat earth disk because he saw the same sun and moon he saw at the side he stated, only there was a totally different landscape within our world long extinct animals, just as Jules Verne had described in his novel but he claimed there and also humans living in a high advanced society on a different continent. As his story goes, afraid as these people were that their world could be known to the other side they kept him prisoner for three years, until he managed to escape using the same way as he came. This passage was blown up by the other people after Braxton Greer escaped. The caves were explored by many more people, but they could not get deeper than maybe a mile where they reached huge cave-ins that made continuing impossible. However, Jeremy Braxton Greer must have made some sense because this happened a few decades later. In the year 1970, Soviet scientists began one of the greatest and most ambitious drilling and mining experiments in human history. In the Kola Peninsula, a drilling project started which would go on to reach farther down into the Earth's crust than any other in history, setting a Guinness World Record that still stands today. Even now, over 20 years since the cessation of all drilling activities at the borehole, which has since been welded shut, it's remembered as a grand science project, which brought about great scientific discoveries, as well as rumors, myths, and legends. Isn't it strange that many secret expeditions are being executed to come as deep as possible? Perhaps there is more truth to Braxton Greer's words than would come to mind. Namely that globe earth supporters are wrong, and flat earth supporters are only partially correct? Isn't it obvious that what has a surface, must also have a surface at the underside? Perhaps all these conspiracy theories are only invented as a smokescreen for us to keep us from discovering the real down under?
Well, you decide. The idea wasn't that bad, right? Like the old gramophone records, a disc always has a flip side. And like flat earth believers always say, do your own research. In that tradition we made up our research and this was the result. I wonder how many people would fall for such a story? This was all for today. Before you leave, please share, subscribe and consider to become a patron. It would really help us. I hope to see you again next week. Hello, this is the Dutch Heretic channel, and I am Evie, the host on all of Ned McRant's channels. Ned and I put a lot of work in our videos, and would really like to see our channel become bigger. So please, hit that like and subscribe buttons and ring that notification bell. We are not monetized, so get nothing from YouTube, but if you want to help us, please consider to help us at www.patreon.com slash Dutch we want to do more, with better animations and shit. Your help will be very much appreciated.